Hi everyone, Eric at Retro Handheld Guides, and today I'll be taking a look at PSP emulation using Vulcan Graphics on the TrimUI Smart Pro. For anyone that has already tried Vulcan Graphics on the Smart Pro, you've likely found that it improves performance but introduces heavy screen tearing and visual glitches which makes gameplay unplayable. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the screen tearing issue with a single setting and test out some of the harder to emulate games using Vulcan Graphics. In order to emulate these harder PSP games, I will be relying heavily on cheats and CPU frequency adjustments. My aim is to get the games at a playable 100% emulation speed, which usually ends up sacrificing a full frame rate. If you'd like to know more about adjusting the emulated CPU frequency or how to use PPSSPP cheats, be sure to check out my other TrimUI Smart Pro PSP emulation testing video where I show you exactly how to apply these settings. So let's take a look at PSP emulation on the TrimUI Smart Pro using Vulkan Graphics. For today's video, I'm going to be using an operating system called Crossmix version 1.1. And the reason I'm going to be using this one is because it does have some nice improvements, one of which when it comes to PSP is the fact that if I press X on any of these particular games, you can see that it gives us a number of different options in order to launch PPSSPP under OpenGL, Vulkan, an old version, or also with the performance settings enabled so it overclocks it for you. So in this way I can very easily select Vulkan versus OpenGL to go ahead and play my game. Now, if you've used Vulkan at all on this device, uh, you'll probably recognize that there were some issues with the, um, with the emulator itself. If we go in and start to actually play a game, one of the biggest issues that I noticed right away is that the system actually has lots of screen tearing. So as we open up um, our Assassin's Creed as an example, I'm just going to come up here up to the rooftop. One of the things that immediately becomes obvious as we start to move around is that there's lots of screen tearing. Uh, so as we go in and begin to move and the system screen is moving really quickly, you'll notice that it does lots of glitching. It's really hard to play like this with the system constantly um, tearing on the screen. It just makes it, uh, you know, lose the immersion. So one setting that I found that actually greatly improves this uh, and fixes the screen tearing altogether is if you go into the menu for PPSSPP and go down into your settings under system settings. If we scroll down near the, near the middle here, there is an option called force real clock sync. When you enable this option and we come back into our game, you will immediately notice the difference with the force real clock sync. No longer are you getting screen tearing while in game. It actually provides a much smoother experience. So in this way, we actually fix the Vulkan rendering issue on the TrimUI Smart Pro simply by enabling one key um, setting. So I did notice that there is some performance improvements on some of the games that we played for uh, the original uh, PSP uh, emulation testing for the TrimUI Smart Pro. And with the setting enabled and using Vulkan, let's take a look at some of the other games to see what kind of improvements we can get with PSP on the TrimUI Smart Pro. So a couple caveats that I just wanted to point out while using the Vulkan rendering. If we use the Force Real Clock Sync, uh, it does mess up your videos. So for those video playing, you can see here that it actually does show some screen tearing, um, but that's the videos. And that's the trade-off that you're gonna have to go with if you're going to be using uh, the uh, Vulkan rendering. It does mess up some of your uh, videos when you're playing. The second thing that I noticed as well, and it's going to be obvious in a game like Call of Duty, is that even with Vulkan rendering, Call of Duty still uh, is difficult to reach the uh, the clock speed or the sorry the um, full frame rate as this one does run at uh, 60 frames per second natively in most areas. In terms of fixing this one you do want to go and change your settings so that it does a frame skip however if you introduce an auto frame skip it does also mess with the screen tearing as well so either set your frame skipping to off 
or force a frame skip of uh, one so that you're not going to have too many issues with uh, the screen tearing for Vulkan. So those are a couple of settings that you'll just want to keep in mind as you go through and uh, play some of your games to have some improved performance through the uh, Vulkan rendering on the uh, TSP. Is 
Nabucco, chorus of the Hebrew slaves. to beat the baddies, adrenaline, the legal, all-natural way to get halt, or just use the handy point-of-interest markers that appear on the screen to help show you where to go. Hold on to any scrap we find. Catch this! <laughs> 